Welcome to another edition of City Beat. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe, and once again, it's Election Day in Decatur. The consolidated elections are going to decide positions on the Decatur City Council, Park Board, School Board, and other local government entities, and we're here at the county building to go over what's at stake. Let's take a look at the races. On the Decatur City Council, four seats will be up for election. One is an unexpired two-year term, and the other three full four-year terms will run on the same ballot, with the top three vote-getters winning election. In the two-year race, City Councilman Jamie Dewis, an appointee, Pat McDaniel, Robert Lewis, and Reggie Anderson are running against one another after surviving the February 22nd primary. McDaniel captured the overwhelming majority of votes in the primary with 58%. Anderson has bowed out of the general election race earlier due to a felony conviction that would prevent him from serving if he is elected, but his name is still on the ballot. In the four-year races, the three incumbent city council members are running for re-election facing four challengers. City Councilman Pat Legler, City Councilman Larry Foster, and City Councilwoman Dana Ray face Delane Chapman, Doc Conlon, Matthew Jackson, and Andrew Weatherford. Voters will cast ballots for three of them. For the Decatur Board of Education, three spots are up for election, with only incumbent Dan Oakes running for re-election. Oakes is challenged by Christine Frank, Brian Hodges, Cordell Ingram, Dwayne McCoskey, Sherry Perkins, and John Phillips. For the Decatur Park Board, Tony Clark challenges incumbent Jack Kenny for the Office of Commissioner. Election judges have said turnout has been as expected and orderly. It's been a steady flow, not real busy, but it's been a steady flow of people all day. So. We've had steady today. Just uh, not a lot of time in between. We're going to stay here at the county building until results begin pouring in and we'll have update videos for you when that happens. So for the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. Take care and stay with us.